you ready? Yeah! Okay, let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to Sing and Tell with me, Tefra Miriam. I'm so excited to be here with you today and I'll be reading one of my favorite stories from my new book, A Monster or a Microwave. I'm so excited to share this time with you, but first, before we read our story, as we're going to do every time on Sing and Tell, I have a special song for you. Are you ready? Now, this song is called Because We're Friends, and it's from the animated series Zoena, and it's also part of the book, so this should be a lot of fun to sing, but there's a few things that you're going to have to do with me, okay? Are you ready to learn? I said, are you ready to learn? Great. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to make the letter O with our hands, okay? And then we can dance along, move our shoulders, make the letter O. You got it? Good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to move our arms like this. And we're going to act like we're walking. If you could actually get up and walk in place, please do it. If not, moving your arms is just fine. We're also going to do some clapping. We're going to clap twice every time you hear the words, let's go. Let's practice. Ready? Clap, clap. Great job. One more time. Ready? Clap, clap. Good job. That was amazing. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves a big hug like this. That's great. Perfect. We're also gonna do a few other motions. When I say, we're gonna make it to the end, we're gonna point all the way to the end. When I say, because we're friends, we're gonna give ourselves a big hug. Don't forget the letter O and to move those shoulders and then act like we're walking. Sing along, the words will be on the screen and don't forget to move just like you want to. This is your time to warm up, relax, have fun and sing a really great song that will inspire you to dream big and overcome your fears. Now, are you ready? Let's go. Zulina, Mr. Fridge, are you ready? Yeah! Okay, let's go. Mr. Bubble, sing with us. some time to sing, have fun, and get moving. Are you ready to hear a story about Zuina? Let's go. I was sitting in my kitchen, just Mr. Fridge and me. 
chomping on what I'd say was a lovely fruit medley, watermelon, pineapple, cantaloupe, and pears. I gobbled all of it up so fast that I got some in my hair. Mr. Fridge laughed and laughed until his belly hurt and tears came out of his fridge eyes and laughter from his throat. I grabbed mom's stool and pulled it over until it touched the sink cause mom will make me wash my hair so I washed it in a blink. Whew, I said as I climbed down and sat upon the floor. Suddenly I heard a cheesy growl followed by a very loud roar. Can you make a roar sound? Let me hear it. That was great. Good job. I crept around and sniffed my nose like I've seen my dog Fanny do. I even got down on all fours and found my missing tube of glue. I heard a monster type of laugh and slowly stood to my feet. That's when I saw this giant creature and it even winked at me. Is that a monster or Mrs. Microwave? I thought quietly in my mind. My hands grew cold, my skin turned pale and a tingling went up my spine. The monster smiled a cheesy, very greasy type of smile. She said, hello, and as she spoke, she raised her pink eyebrows. I could not speak, think, or move. I simply stood and stared. She said, don't be shy. Come over here. I love your pretty hair. I closed my eyes because I thought if I can't see her, maybe she can't see me. When I opened them, I was surprised. I was sitting in a giant tree. This world was bright and full of trees, almost like a jungle. I saw Mr. Fridge and Miss Fork and Spoon running from my teddy named Snuggle. I looked down at what appeared to be a very rainforest looking kitchen. That's when I saw Mrs. Microwave walking with a mission. She stopped and seemed to look around as if she were looking just for me. I then heard a quiet shh sound coming from Mrs. Tree. Mrs. Tree whispered, don't breathe or think or even blink until that monster passes. I held on tight as Mrs. Tree slipped by her like molasses. When Mrs. Tree was far away, she started to run faster and faster. She ran by bowls, plates, and cups, and even a dancing saucer. I yelled, where are we going? Trying hard not to be frightened. Mrs. Tree said, I know someone that can help us, but it's difficult to find him. He's a slippery, foamy, and sudsy fellow that can beat this greasy monster. If we don't find him soon and clean her up, it will be a total disaster. As Mrs. Tree ran, I got to see the spectacular kitchen jungle. Everything sparkled with beautiful colors and my tummy was tickled with laughter. I bounced on Mrs. Tree's soft leaves and laughed until I cried. We are here, she yelled, and I held my breath at the beautiful sight. Bubble land, I read out loud slowly, cause I just learned to read. Mrs. Tree said, yes, bubble land is where we are indeed. Hints of pink, blue, white, and green, very surely I could see. Oh, the bubbles were spectacular, all dancing just for me. Look, Mrs. Tree shouted, Mr. Bubble is over there. She put me down on a pile of bubbles that felt as soft as air. Hello, I heard a very deep type of bubbly voice did say. Hello, I said as I kind of smiled in a 
shy type of way. What brings a pretty girl like you to bubble land so far away from home? I said, I have a monster issue, sir, that I just can't handle alone. Mr. Bubble nodded happily and smiled his bubble smile. I can help. Don't worry now. It will all be fine in just a while. I smiled so big that my face hurt, but I simply couldn't stop. There you go, Mr. Bubble said. What a lovely smile you've got. I thought we had to rush and leave, but Mr. Bubble said, stay and play. So we sang and danced and laughed and played until we stopped for lemonade. The lemonade was so yummy and lemony, I asked for more and more. I smacked and licked my lips until it was surely time to go. We set out on our journey to find out where the monster lived. We passed bath time land and laundry town and a big cave where dust bunnies hid. When we finally got there, the monster's lair was sticky, gooey, and greasy. It smelled like old cheese with garlic and fish and moldy old baloney. Mrs. Tree said goodbye to us before we finally headed in. Mr. Bubble and I waved our hands and I flashed just one last grin. Mr. Bubble took the lead and where he stepped, he made it better and better. By the time we were halfway in, the cave was starting to smell much fresher and fresher. We crept and cleaned and crept some more until we heard a sound. Mrs. Microwave was at the door. Her feet were pounding the ground. She looked at us with greasy eyes and then she began to growl. I wanted to run away and hide but Mr. Bubble said, stand your ground. Mrs. Microwave sniffed and wiggled her nose and noticed her cave was clean. She started to shake, her eyes grew wide, and then she began to scream. How dare you come and clean my cave, her cheesy mouth spoke loud. You never used to be this way, I yelled very strong and proud. His microwave stopped and looked at me, amazed and surprised. I remember now, she said with a sniff, and slowly realized my mouth wasn't always full of cheese. And then she began to cry. Don't worry, I said quietly and dried her bright yellow eyes. Mr. Bubbles will fix everything, I said so proud and strong. You won't smell any more like stinky cheese. I said, just like a song. Mr. Bubbles began to go to work, scrub-a-dub-a-dubbing. When he stepped aside, we all said, wow, and Mrs. Microwave was smiling. Mrs. Microwave sang and danced and laughed just like she used to do. We all joined in and said, hooray, and sang along with her too. After that, I sat and tried to nap, tired of all of my dancing. I closed my eyes and when I opened them, I saw the water in my kitchen running. I looked up and saw a wonderful sight, my dad looking down at me. I wiggled my nose and said to him, I no longer smell stinky cheese. He laughed and looked at me and said, you are such a silly goose. I cleaned that dirty microwave and now we can all use. You fell asleep on the kitchen floor, tired from all of your playing. He picked me up, looked at me and said, now what else should we be exploring? Thank you so much. Did you enjoy the book? I hope you did. What do you think happened? Was Zoena dreaming? What are some of the colors you see in the kitchen? What do you think Zoena learned in her time away from her kitchen? Did she learn anything new? Did she learn how to overcome her fears? 
What do you think Mr. Bubble did? Mr. Bubble was her friend that stood by her side, right? He was there helping her. Do you have any good friends that can help you overcome fears? Can you find Mr. Bubble in the book on your own? There he is. And there's Zuwina. And there's Mrs. Microwave, clean and fresh and bright and happy. Thank you all so much for joining me for Sing and Tell. Stay tuned for more stories and more songs from me, Tucker Miriam. Have a great day. Okay.